Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is Jay Louvier here, and today I wanted to come to you and kind of do something that's a little bit different than what I'm used to doing, and that's basically a live video here. Uh, well, a video that's unedited and uh, pretty much unscripted. And uh, I wanted to show you guys the 2013 Thomas Wooden Railway yearbook, uh, or catalog as some of you call it. Um, and I thought it'd be kind of cool just to give uh, some of you guys who are the consumers out there an idea of what's coming out in 2013. A lot of you are part of the, you know, Thomas Wooden Railway forms and can get this information, but I thought it'd be kind of cool just to go ahead and show some of you out there that are excited about this year's products and kind of just go over what's coming out. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So this is definitely going to be unscripted, and, and I apologize for the uh, ambient sounds. It's kind of kind of loud over here. I can hear the cars passing and everything, so hopefully it's not too bad, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> pull up the uh, 2013 yearbook here, see if I can get this in. Focus this a little bit. So obviously this is going to be completely unedited here. Uh, all right, here's the yearbook, and uh, let's go ahead and flip it open. See what we can see. Looks like the first page is just talking about what they always do about how important the Thomas Wooden Railway is to uh, to your kids, and talks about down here telling you about all the benefits of the Thomas Wooden Railway. <laughs> all right, table of contents. Wow, we got about 50 pages in this. All right, <clears throat> first page here, uh, we've got the King of the Railway. I know a lot of you are excited, and if you're very excited about this, go ahead and uh, place some comments in the comment section. I'd like to know uh, what you guys are, or what you think of the uh, upcoming King of the Railway um, characters that are going to be coming out. Okay, they show, there's Millie up there. Well, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit better here. There's Millie. We've got uh, Thomas, King of the Railway which is kind of cool. Looks like there's some knights that come in the cargo car. That's interesting. Down here I've got Toby's Castle Delivery. Up here we show Caitlin, Stephen. Uh, Stephen comes to Sodor. I think it's Stephen. I don't think it's Stefan. Uh, Connor. And then down here we've got uh, Stephen's Coaches. Coming autumn 2013, I've actually... Confirmed from a couple of my dealers that it's probably going to be around June. So this may come late summer. We'll see. All right, moving on. Here's some of the destinations that will be available. Uh, the Castle Crane right there. Uh, down here we've got... Wow, this is quite the destination. I almost have to zoom out here. <laughs> well, up here we've got the King of the Railway figure eight set. Looks interesting. And down here is the King of the Railway Deluxe set. And this looks pretty massive. It's pretty exciting. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to review that for you guys. Moving on. <clears throat> go, go, Thomas. All right, there's Stafford, which I've reviewed. Check out my review if you haven't seen it. There's the Express coming through. I haven't reviewed that yet. Uh, Sodor Search and Rescue, which we've reviewed. The Race... To the rescue, which is up there, and also up here, we've got Thomas and the pig pickup. And uh, down here is the farmhouse pig parade set. So I have that. I'm going to go ahead and review that for you guys pretty soon here. Then it looks like we've got a lot of the common characters that we have. Well, take that back. There's the Flying Scotsman. I know a lot of you are excited about the limited release of the Flying Scotsman. That will be coming out soon. Um, there's Winston up there, and there's Luke, which we've reviewed. Uh, Winston should be out soon. Some of these characters, well, they all look pretty similar. I know there's some down here that say new look, so there's a couple changes to these uh, releases. There's Toby in the new look. That's definitely a new look Toby there. What has he got on the top in the world? Okay, sorry about that, guys. We're back. My camera kind of died on me here. Uh, these are Thomas and Friends. A lot of these are common characters that we've seen before. Um, so you see, it looks like they're bringing back Fearless Freddy. Uh, some of these may be new look designs. I don't see too many. It looks like Jack's got a new look design. Uh, let's keep going over here. <coughs> there is Reneus, the new look Reneus. Uh, hero. 
Some of these are pretty common. Looks like Rocky. Look at that. New look Rocky. <sighs> Musical Caboose, Flynn, as you've all seen. <clears throat> and this is the talking engine section. I've never really been into the whole talking engine thing. Uh, but these are the new characters for the talking friends. Uh, some of them may, be, may not be new, I'm not sure. Uh, Diesel 10, there you go, Spencer, Victor, uh, Thomas, and then we got down here talking to Gordon. Battery operated engines. Take a look at this. The battery operated booster steam car with Thomas. That looks pretty cool. Uh, battery operated hero. That would be cool to review because I believe he's new for this year. Moving down. Let's keep moving on, okay, guys? I reviewed this once. The Happy Birthday Thomas. New look. Comes with the cake. Um, this looks pretty cool. Peter Sam's Dynamite Delivery. It's a three car pack. And I don't know if you can see that, but he's uh, kind of got like speckled, uh, blue looking speckle all over him. Looks pretty cool, actually. I gotta say, this definitely catches my eye. Uh, the Famous Adventures of Thomas been around for a while. I don't know if I remember the one with the fish on them, though. That might be new. I'm not sure. Um, here's another one that I'll probably be reviewing soon. I do have it in hand. Percy's Musical Ride. Two Park Dark Den. Or back. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jolly's Chocolate. Look at this. This looks pretty cool. Two Cargo Sweet Cars. Wow. Alright. Flipping over. Then we've got Sydney's Holiday Special 2-Pack. Santa's Little Engine. Uh, Rusty to the Rescue, three car pack. Uh, Crawling Critters, cargo car, the oil coal cargo, and a three car pack Sodor Bakery delivery. Moving on, here's, they, they're calling this special moments, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, looks like they got the Steamies and Diesels, two pack. The famous circus car has been around forever. Moving over here, we've got the Giggling Troublesome Trucks, which I've reviewed already. The new look Annie and Clarabelle with the black rooftops. I don't know what I think of that yet. And the aquarium, aquarium cars. Okay, we got some more destinations or sets here. Let's take a look at this. Wow. It's called the Tidmouth Timber Company Deluxe Figure 8 set. That's actually a pretty good sized set. Um, quite a bit of plastic in there, but... Looks pretty good. Then down here we got Percy's Mail Depot set, which is almost almost an oval set. It's got a looks like a destination like the mailbox. I think something happens when you run over the mailbox as well. And uh, over here we've got the coal hopper figure eight set. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> this is the uh, Sodor Mountain Supply Run set. You've probably seen this around. Uh, I believe this just came out recently. I haven't got my hands on that one yet. Uh, the Brindam Bay Shipping Set. Look at that. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Very unique. We got some more uh, figure eight stuff, or this is the 5 in 1 Up and Around set. A bunch of different track designs you can do. Alright, moving on. We got the Storage uh, Deluxe set that comes with the. I'm not sure if they've redone this or not. This is the uh, Tidmouth Sheds Deluxe set, though. I remember this from going into all the old toy stores uh, that used to have Thomas, they always had these sets because they seem to fit in small areas and you get quite a quite a lot of track uh, in this particular layout in a small amount of space. Here's the oval starter set. Wow, it's still around, huh? Moving on, destinations. Uh, we've got the Sodor Paint Factory, which I have not reviewed yet. The Maroon Lights and Sounds Signal Shed. Knapford Station. Oops, sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Over here we got the Searchlight, I believe that's out uh, right now. Transforming Destination, that's, what is that? Turn and crank this to change the scenery. Huh, the cargo car flips to change the, interesting. And the uh, Tidmouth Sheds right there. Moving on, more destinations. We've got the, uh, <clears throat> the Deluxe Roundhouse here. I guess it's got sounds and sights or sounds. Uh, then we've got the Sodor Washdown. I guess that's making a comeback. Interesting. Uh, the Deluxe Over the Track Signal. Uh, Water Tower. Cranky the Crane. He's 
back and then the deluxe railroad crossing and this just looks like little activities that your kids can do in the book that's kind of cool they add that feature uh, bridges and tunnels uh, there's the log tunnel very unique it reminds me of this right here the quarry mine tunnel I think it's kind of the same design but uh, it's different art on the outside and we've got the wacky track bridge this looks really cool I can't wait to review that. And this down here looks interesting. It's called the Snow Tunnel. Um, I, it looks like you can get your engines to go in there. And what I kind of see is um, it looks like you can spin that wheel in there and snow magically falls. I think it's got little pieces of styrofoam or something. <laughs> and it looks like emulates snow falling. Then over here we got the quarry mine. I already said that. The Rumbling Bridge. And check a, take a look at this. This is the Stone Drawbridge. But man, this artwork, I, I don't, maybe. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys kind of loud here. I don't remember the uh, artwork. This is just, it looks great. It looks really good. Um, can't wait to get my hands on that. Take a look at that. And then we got the track packs. Um, this has been around forever. The figure eight expansion packs and the uh, the adapter track packs. Uh, we still got those. The switch track pack. Uh, curve track pack. Just a bunch of track guys. And then we've got the uh, playtime accessories. This is the Island Soda play table. The uh, Railway Adventure Playboard looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll be reviewing these. Uh, the two-in-one playboard and the Island of Sodor felt playmat. I gotta say that actually looks pretty good. Uh, my kids have a felt playmat. I'm not really a fan of them, but it seems to have quite a lot of graphics on it, so it looks pretty good. All right, moving on, and, and looks like they just give you some. Uh, some different design layout designs here that you can follow and make yourself. I think that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to, I know this is completely unscripted, unrehearsed, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to just show you guys what's in the uh, 2013 catalog. So that's pretty much what I show. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment um, and let me know what you want me to review. Uh, I'm thinking about reviewing most of these 2013 items. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing good and thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate all the likes and all the comments that you guys leave on my channel, okay? We'll, we'll talk to you later. Bye.